Hello, I am Dr. Swarup Dixit and welcome to Alan Next. So at Alan, we have started a new clinical case series where we will get you right to the basics. We will take you to the patient, bedside evaluation of the patient and assessment of the basic conditions that we see in day-to-day -day life so that you not only excel in your exams, but you also get something as a doctor. So when we talk about the clinical assessment, today I've got a very <laughs> special case. Even though this case is a common between medicine and surgery, but since we do a lot of parotids, we do a lot of, uh, you can say, head and neck surgeries. Yes, many a times we might get a case of facial nerve paralysis. So today I have a patient of facial nerve paralysis. This is not a case of, you can say, injury. But I'm going to represent the basic assessment of facial nerve, the presentation, the evaluation and the surgical management. Let me tell you there are certain important frontanalis, orbicularis, oculi, orbicularis, oris. Then we have platysma, then we have vaccinator. So we are going to test these muscles for the weakness. Uh, so I'm very thankful to my patient. And in fact, I'm thankful to all of my patients who devote themselves for the medical education. There are a lot of people who feel shy, but I'm proud of this patient who actually volunteered. He said, okay, I want to be a part of that education, uh, you can say educational curriculum. So how do we test? The important things that we will be seeing here. So we'll start with the forehead. Uh, so can you see this side? He is not able to frown on the left side. And then if you appreciate, there are classical creases on this forehead creases. The forehead wrinkles that you see, the forehead wrinkles are lost here. So this is one thing. Okay. The second thing, so frontanalis, this is weak. The second thing that I would be going for is orbicularis oculi. So, aap zor se aakhe meechye. So, you'll ask them to screw the eyes. Aise. Aakhe. So, can you see? Can you see? After two days, after two days of therapy, he has been able to, but there is some level of weakness on this eye. So, this time, yesterday it was quite high, but this time he has been able to. Can you see? Thik hai? Ek bar aakhe kholo, aram se aakhe meechho. So just see, there is still residual weakness is there. After two days of steroid and you can say nerve stimulation therapy, he has improved a lot. But yes, there is inability to close the eyelids. The next thing, the next thing. So can you see he is not able to, he is not able to blow. So that means the vaccinator is weak. Can you see? Fir se kariye? Yeah. Yeah, just CT marte na CT. Aise, aise. Babuji. So can you see he is not able to blow, whistle. So inability to bliss, blow, that tells that the vaccinators are not working properly on this side. Again, so can you see he is not able to cleanse the teeth also. He is not able to cleanse the teeth and there is a classical drooping, drooping on this side. This is again very important. So so he has tried, but there is some level. Okay, okay. There is some level of. Okay. So the platysma is not completely impaired in this case. So platysma is okay. So we have tested platysma. We have tested vaccinator. We have tested the orbicularis oris, orbicularis. You can say uh, the oculi. There are other tests also. <coughs> so this is the basic layout of any facial nerve weakness. Students, I will tell you a Bell's phenomena. Aap aram se apni aakhe band kariye. Dono aakhe. So can you see the eye globe has shifted up. Fir se kariye. Aram se band kariye. So can you see the eye globe has shifted up. And this is a reflex to prevent corneal injury. And this is what is known as a Bell's phenomena. So this is again a classical case of facial nerve isol idiopathic, uh, you can say weakness. Then it may be due to excessive traction to this facial nerve. So neuropraxia can happen. So when we talk about the management, let me tell you about the surgical management. In this case, this is a patient uh, of uh, suspected Bell's nerve palsy. There could be one more thing which is known as Ramsey Hunt syndrome, where the varicella or herpes zoster virus can be infecting this, but there are no, you can say, clinical presentation of any rashes. So the probability becomes very less. However, it can happen without the rashes also. Next is, now in this case, we have started with steroids, we are doing the nerve stimulation and patient is actually responding very well. Normally when you do a parotid surgery and when you lift, raise the flap, the greater auricular is the one which is lying under the skin. 
So majority of the time that is sacrificed and we prefer it to use as a cable graft. So greater auricular, sural, we can use greater petrosal, lesser petrosal, we can use hypoglossal, we can use lateral glutinous nerve of thigh. <coughs> so these are the classical nerve grafts that we can use. Apart from that students, there are some static interventions also. What are the static interventions? Now suppose this patient is having drooping of mouth. So with this zygoma, you can use a temporal facial sling so that we lift up. So in the patients who don't respond, so we elevate the lift, uh, we elevate the drooped angle by lifting it with a temporal facial sling. Then these eyelids, we may, these are not practiced very much, but tarsal eyelid implants of gold may make them heavy and the eyelids Gold's might close. So the keratoconjunctivitis or the corneal ulcers, they are drastically reduced. Apart from that, there are some things which are not practiced very commonly and that is cross, you can say cross cable grafts. So facial nerve of the opposite side is brought to this side or some branches are brought to the, from that are brought and innervated into or repaired into the damaged or traumatized part. We can also use the nerve muscular grafts. So we can use gracialis, we can use uh, uh, temporalis, there are a lot of grafts which we can use. So this was a brief case about the facial nerve, uh, weakness presentation, surgical repair of the facial nerve. I hope you enjoyed this case and this is a kind of you can see presentation that we have added to the new, uh, you can say, uh, new domain of medical teaching in Alanex. So like we have in the surgery, we have the similar case presentation in other subjects also. So do join Alan next and do download the app. It's there in the iOS and it's there on the Play Store also. And we hope to see you, you can say, uh, cruising your journey with all the confidence.